8. We're asked to integrate the following. Let's look back on the. Remember, you have the formulas above, so you can check those. But once you have x, it's going to be x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. So that's what we're using. So 11, you'll have 11 plus 1 over 11 plus 1. Then you have 6 plus 1 over 6 plus 1. Well, when you have a 3, which is a constant, you just attach an x plus c. Simplifying, this will be 12 over 12. And this will be 7 over 7. And the 4, you could leave it here. But I like to put it beside the x. As you can see, I move it to the numerator. You always move the number. Once it's a whole number, you move it beside the variable in the numerator. Looking at B, first, rewriting it. Once you have 11 in the denominator, it is the same as 1 over 11, and then this is t to the 10. This is a fraction, 5 over 3 times t. So as you can see, I have 5 over 3 times t. Well, this 7, carry the 7 in front, it's like a 7 times, times the 1. This red would be the 1. So we carry the 7 out. So this is the 7, and then leave the 1 in the position. So it'd be 1 over t. So let's carry the 7 out, because it's the same, same thing as 7 times 1. Carry the 7 out and leave the 1 in the position. Rewrite 1 over t to the 4th as t to the negative 4. Now we integrate. So at 1, so you have 10 plus 1 over 10 plus 1. Then we have, this is like t is the same thing as saying t to the power, t to the power 1. So it's 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. But 1 over t, 1 over t, let me show you, is like this. So you could have left it as 7 over t or 1 over, 1 over t. But this is always ln. So you're going to get an ln. So is that you leave it as 7 over t and write it as 7 ln t. Or you do that is 7 times 1 over t, where when you integrate 1 over t, it becomes ln t. The t to the negative 4, we add 1. So minus 4 plus 1 over minus 4 plus 1. So this gives you t to the negative 3 over minus 3 plus c. No. Multiply 11 times 11, 121, 3 times 2, 6, and the 5 times t square, 5 t square. Now, this negative times negative gives us the positive that we have here. So, negative times negative, positive. Looking at C, first thing we do, we separate these. So you have 10x to the fifth over 3x squared. So 10x to the fifth over 3x squared. Then we have, which is what we have here. Then we have minus 5x over 3x squared, which is what I have here. Then positive 1 over 3x squared. So we separate them. The next step is simplify. So x squared into x to the fifth gives you x cubed. This x cancels one of the x that we have in the denominator. So that's why I have 5 over 3x. This now, I just separate it, is the same thing as a third times 1 over x squared. Now right here, just separating, so I pull this apart. So it's 10 over 3 times 
x to the cube, separating again. So this is 5 over 3. And then the x is in the denominator, so that's why I have 1 over x here. 1 over x squared, we can rewrite it by carrying it up to become x to the negative 2. Now we're going to integrate. So we add 1. So we have 3 plus 1, which is 4. So it's x to the 4th over 4. 1 over x would be ln x. Add 1. So minus 2 plus 1 would be negative 1 over negative 1. 3 times negative 1, negative 3, x to the negative 1. And then we say 3 times 4 is 12, 10, x to the 4. One. Root 7 minus 3 plus sine x equal e to the 3x. Rewriting the square root as x to the half. Then we go ahead and integrate. Say so it's a half. And if you want to have 0 0.5, but a half plus 1, and anything you have as a power will be the same thing you have in the denominator. Once you have a number, you attach an x. Well, sine x, if you go back to your table, sine x is minus cos x. If you have e to the a, it's 1 over a, e to the ax plus b. So let me explain. Sine x would be minus cos x. Well, once you have an e to a number x, the number that's in front, we put it in the denominator. So this number, if you realize, is the same number we have in the denominator. Simplifying, we have 3 over 2, and this would be 3 over 2. Once you have a fraction in the denominator, we reciprocate it. So it becomes 2 in the numerator. So the 2 goes in the numerator and the 3 is left in the denominator. Just remember, if I have 1 over 3 over 2, you've learned that once a fraction is in the denominator, we flip it so it becomes 2 over 3. Moving on to the next activity. Cube root is the same thing as one third. So that's why we have a third here. Remember square root. So square root is the same thing as the power a half. So square root is the same thing as the power a half. So a half, which is the square root, times the power three. So the square root times three, which is a half times three, would give us base over one. One times three, three. Two times one. Two. So it'd be three over two. So that's why I have a third of a two right here. Once you have something like this in the denominator, we carry it up in the numerator. So that is why I know the next step if you realize I have a negative three over two. Now from here, we integrate. So we add one to a third. So that's why I have one third plus one. And as you know, anything I have in the numerator is the same thing in the denominator. So minus 3 over 2 plus a third, again, anything we have in the numerator is the same thing we have in the denominator. While x is the same thing as x to the 1, so we add 1, so it's 1 plus 1, and anything we have in the numerator, it's the same thing we have in the denominator. The integral of e to the x is just e to the x. Now, a cos function, we know, is sine, but when it integrates, because there's a number 2 here, it becomes 1 over 2.
remember to look back on your table all of this is in your table now add in a third plus one that's four over three same thing we'll have in the denominator minus three over two plus one that's negative a half and minus three plus one is negative a half you can go ahead and work it out to confirm my answer one plus one that's two one plus one that's two nothing happens here so we didn't change anything here we just carry it along now simplifying this once we have a fraction in the denominator we reciprocate it so that is why i have three over four here or you could have three in the numerator and put four in the denominator that's also okay no same thing happens here we reciprocate it so two in the numerator and you can have the negative one below here that's fine now the negative cancels this negative so you have a positive which is what i have here and seven times two that's 14 four into eight goes two times and this two times this three gives you six 